This morning, I'd like to thank all of you for the opportunity to sing. It's a great honor to sing for the Lord uh, and just give him praise every time we get that opportunity. Uh, this summer has been called Growing in Grace. Uh, that was our Wednesday night evening prayers and praise. It's also been a cha challenging time for us to learn how to be confident and speak to other people who don't know Jesus. So I'd like to share with you a, a conversation that went on that there was two gentlemen who were Christian and one of them was talking about his wife. She had had a um, serious illness and she had got through it and it had been six months or longer. And so as he's sharing this, uh, he said, you know, God is just always good. And there was a third person that came up and he said, uh, could you tell me why God's important in your life? And why do I need him? And so he quoted, and I quote, he quoted three scriptures, but you can also, if you struggle with talking to someone, when you tell someone at the grocery store, I'll use your example, Ken, you used it, Pastor Ken, that if they're having a sale on pop next weekend, would you gladly tell everyone that there's five cases for $3 a case if you buy them for a 12-pack? What's more important? Is Jesus more important for them and their eternal salvation? We find Scripture has called us as disciples that we are to share the good news of Jesus. It is our privilege to be able to talk about Jesus. We don't have to beat him with the Bible. Just tell him what your story is. What did Jesus do for you this week? Did you see a miracle? Have you seen someone in your family going through a struggle and all of a sudden something turned miraculously around? You can't describe it. In that moment, that was God's hand upon your life. Recognizing miracles is important in our lives. As we prepare for the second coming of Christ, we don't know the hour, we don't know the time, not even the angels in heaven, but we do know one thing, because we are saved, we have no fear. We have all the confidence. So I'd like to share this from Philippians 2.10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God be the song, and may God bless you all. And it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sounds the call at the midnight hour. We'll be going home when Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children. The dead in Christ shall
Come. 